Boys and girls, you are watching Peter's Raw Recap. Raw just went off the air maybe like 15 minutes ago. And um, I'm here to give you just a recap of what the fuck happens. If you're interested to hear the full review, the full review, like more of my opinion. I'm going to give a little bit of my opinion, but... Um, more of my opinions and the conversation I have every week, every Wednesday with my co-host Jake Grandi. be sure to Wednesday back here YouTube or on SoundCloud Stitcher Radio or Tumblr Peter and Jake talks wrestling this week's Raw it's from Washington, D.C. And um, I'll tell you this. It was a shit ton better than last week's. I mean, like, a shit ton better. Because last week's was so depressing. It was horrible. And this week, apparently, um, apparently last week, Triple H wrote it all. And, oof. Uh, maybe they got the, the, the regular people in there writing this shit, but... It came out smoother. Other than this opening, where well, you got Rollins, Mercury, Noble, and Kane um, in the ring, basically like celebrating what they've done over the past week, which is beat down Brock Lesnar, and then they they beat down um, they beat down uh, Ambrose on SmackDown. So to celebrate all these things. And the stronger reunion of the authority without Big Show. Um, fucking Rollins has all these fucking gifts. He uh, he buys uh, Kane and J&J &J, like iPhone watches. He gives uh, Kane a tr trip to Hawaii. And... Uh, he gets J and J like a Cadillac, which we thought was gonna be like the payoff of seeing that shit get fucked up, but maybe that's gonna happen later on. Um That's the opening segment. It was garbage. Um you got Big Show versus Mark Henry. He doesn't Mark Henry doesn't get the jobber intro this time. He actually gets in there. You got Miz on commentary. Really short match. Um I hate what they're doing with Mark Henry. I fucking hate it. Well, anyway, Big Show wins with two um, knockout punches. And then Ryback runs in and beats up Show. And uh, Miz gets a, a sucker kick in, which results to a match between Miz and Ryback that was supposed to have been scheduled later, but they do this match. And um, it seems the Big Show is out of commission. <laughs> I guess uh, one little meat hook did the job. Um, Ryback wins via countout because I guess when he gets all Rybacked up, the big not Hulk up, but Rybacked up, um, Miz he's about to hit Miz with the um, meat hook. Miz rolls out of the ring and uh, and is counted out. And I guess this is to build up again the three-way um, match, the, tri the triple threat between The Miz, Ryback, and Big Show. At Battleground, you get Paige versus Fox. Um, a very hot crowd for this. Actually, Washington, D.C. did a really good job tonight. They actually, like, fucking ruled. Um... They were hot, definitely, for this match. And this was a decent match. It seems Paige and Fox have really good chemistry. Um, and, and it was a good match. It extended past a commercial break. And Fox dominated until the Paige comeback. And a Bella distraction, attempted distraction, resulted in a reverse roll-up, giving Paige the victory. In the second hour, we got the Cena Open Challenge. 
we think Kevin Owens is coming out. They accept it, but he changes his mind. We get an amazing match between Cena and Cesaro. And, uh, but as soon as it, it ha as soon as it went down, all I could think was, man, these two have great chemistry. So I'm like, we're in for the match of the night. And, uh, it didn't disappoint. Um, Cesaro held his own. Cena did what he could. Um, we get two sharpshooters <laughs> from, uh, Cesaro and a big swing but um after this match this amazing match maybe it went for like 15 minutes or so Kevin Owens comes in and attacks um, Cesaro while he has Cena in the uh, sharpshooter and it's a shame not to get I, I mean I would much rather seen Cesaro lose than have this match kind of go to waste to Kevin Owens but Kevin Owens this motherfucker is just piling on like foes <laughs> he has one with Cena he has one with Samoa Joe he has one with Sami Zayn he has one with Hideo Tommy he has one with Cesaro he has one with Machine Gun Kelly um, I feel like Machine Gun Kelly is gonna come back at some point and, and get his revenge uh, maybe at Battleground we'll see um, but again I guess the DQ I guess Cesaro gets the victory because Owens attacked Cesaro. So in the back we got like a blah 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 Bray Wyatt promo. I I well package. Whatever. <laughs> Bray Wyatt. You fucking ain't shit. The Lucha Dragons with the primetime players versus the New Day and Bo Dallas. And um this is a rematch from uh, last week and um, who cares the faces win and O'Neill gets the pin third out leads into Dolph Ziggler and Lana basically going public saying that they're in a relationship then Rusev comes out with um, Summer Rae and um, basically Rusev's talk shit to Lana Ziggler threatens to injure the other leg. I mean, what are you, what are you doing? I, I guess you're still a face. You What? USA Chance. For what reason? I don't know. But, uh, Rusev backs out uh, after a standoff. They're, they're standing off. He backs off. And Summer Rae, before they leave, cuts a promo on Lana, calling her a gold digger. Tell her that she jumped ship after WrestleMania, called her phony, and then she slaps her. Then there's a cat fight, and Lana actually gets the upper hand. Now, I don't know what this leads to. One of, uh, previously in another podcast, I mentioned um, that Summer Rae's a worker. Lana, maybe she's a worker. Um, the, the, the feud this sort of fatal full way of a relationship between Rusev, uh, Rusev, Ray, Lana, and Ziggler, it'd have been, it'd be great if Lana was a worker. Now, she gets the upper hand in this after Summer Ray slaps the living shit out of her. And maybe this is a new Divas feud, which is somewhat refreshing because all we've seen so far over the past couple of months is Cameron... The Bellas and Paige. Now, this has nothing to do with this, and it's like, wow, okay, this is kind of a refreshing feud, and this is what I was mentioning before. If you listen, if you listen to the show, that they need to hurry up and get to the gut of this, and it seems that they're going to try to um, expose Lo Lana for being fake Russian, and go ahead and get the battleground match. I guess if. Rusev can heal, or maybe even SummerSlam, a uh, tag team with Ziggler, Lana versus Summer Rae and Rusev. So, this is good. This is good. This is fresh. And I'm glad they got to it already without having us have to wait two more weeks while they do some old dumb shit. Ambrose and Reigns are in the back. They're ready to rage. 
we get Neville versus Sheamus, and uh, Sheamus wins um, after he set up for the Red Arrow, but he gets up and knocks um, Neville off the top rope, resorting, resorting, resulting. Yeah, I'm I'm tired, guys. I'm fucking tired. Resulting in a broke kick, and Sheamus gets the win. Um, but it's a good match. Uh, normally, Sheamus matches bore the fuck out of me, but it seems that between him and Neville is a good stiff match. Even though like Neville is very acrobatic and stuff, they got good chemistry. I wish this was something that was more of a feud. It was when Neville first arrived, but. Oh well, we see what happens because again, Sheamus is the money in the bank holder, and we still don't know what the fuck they plan to do with him. Uh, Swagger versus Barrett, uh, second week in a row where Barrett gets a bona fide jobber to get a win. We get no sight of um, our truth, but whatever. And then the final um, match is Ambrose, Reigns versus Rollins and Kane. And it's a no DQ match and it's a it's a very crazy match. Very crazy match. A lot of involvement with J and J, so and so and so. You get three Superman punches at the end with Roman Reigns. I guess it wasn't a tag, but he gets his little hot spot and um Wyatt shows up, ambushes Reigns and then the numbers game become too much for Ambrose as he's fended himself off as Reigns lays dead on the outside. So what we think, um, Rollins hit the pedigree on um, Ambrose. And then Reigns, after like that crazy beatdown, he gets in and he's, I don't know, man, like, Jesus, talk about, why could he just stay down? I, I don't know. Maybe this episode would have ended faster, but for some reason we got to show that Roman Reigns has to keep getting up. Keep getting up. Fuck you. Well, anyway, it's this long drag out, basically beat down, and kind of like come back from Reigns, which results in the numbers game taking over Reigns and getting hit with a buckle bomb into a table set up in the corner. But does that keep Roman Reigns down? Nope. He tries to get back up, and he's hit with a pedigree. And then when you think the show is over, you see fucking Bray Wyatt walking down the ramp to hit Roman Reigns with an Ab a Sister Abigail. And that ends the show. Um, again, the full review with me and Jake will be up Wednesday. YouTube, SoundCloud. Tumblr, Stitcher Radio. I'm getting some more stuff. I got. I just got this bad boy right here. Got this bad boy right here. So hopefully the mics will come soon. You, we're gonna get a clearer uh, podcast stream. And on top of that, I'm working on getting a camera because again, after SummerSlam, well, when SummerSlam hits, it will be a full year that Peter and Jake Talks Wrestling podcast has existed. So we're gonna go sh not strictly um, video, but but all the podcasts, there will be a video, be a video alternative from from there on out. So I'm working on the camera and going to change the setup, make it a little nicer for you guys. So subscribe, hit the button below. Um, keep up with Peter and Jake Talks Wrestling. Um, keep up with me, um, Ellen Japanese. That's my Twitter account, L-I-N-J-A-P-A-N-E-S-E. That's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's Snapchat, and that's SoundCloud. Um, PJTW Central, that's the rest, that's my exclusive wrestling Twitter account. Um, and PJTWCentral.com is the website where you can go and click all the uploads to where it is and I plan to rehash that too it's pretty beta right now but you still can click any of the icons again tumblr soundcloud stitcher radio and youtube you can click all those to get whatever since place you you download 
um, you want to listen to Peter and Jake Talks Wrestling. There's also an RSS feed where you can left click, save as, and then load it to whatever player you have. So thank you for checking out the recap. I will see your ass on, well, you'll hear from me on Wednesdays. So have a good night, guys.